Hi Concert Band, I'm Mr. Pickett and we are back with another book lesson this week. This week we're going to look at page 26 in your book. Again, I've got a copy of the trumpet page here. And again, as I've said in previous lessons, when you see these notes, yours will likely be different. The trumpet is common to only the clarinet, the bass clarinet, and the tenor sax, but all other instruments, your notes will be different. Three exercises this week. Um, the first one you'll know, and I think the last one you'll know too, but the last one's got a different twist to it. The middle one is probably going to be the hardest of the three. So we'll go through each exercise one by one. Um, what I'll do is I'll walk you through it, I'll play it for you, you finger silently, and then you play along with me. Although the last exercise, playing along with me might be a little difficult, especially when we teach you what is being introduced in the third uh, exercise here. Alright, we're going to take a brief break and get going with exercise number one. So have your instruments ready to go, make sure you're warmed up, and we'll be ready to go in just a second. Okay, exercise number one here is number 127, the Marines Hymn. Now, first of all, most of you should have heard this before. It's a very famous tune with uh, national uh, recognition. It's the song, the official song of the United States Marine Corps. Now in checking it out here, we've got cut time. Okay, so you've got to notice this right off the bat. This is not 4-4, this is cut time. Uh, numerically, it's 2-2. Two, two. Um, each half note gets one beat, two beats each measure. Okay, 2-2 two, two time. So it starts out, do, date, do, 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 date, do, do, date, do, 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 day, do. Then it repeats. After the second inning, go to the pickups to 11. Do, date, do, 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 date, do, do, date, do, 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 day, do. Then we've got 19 here, and that it reprises the beginning uh, melody there. Okay, finger silently, please. And listen to me. Here we go. Ready? One, two, one. <laughs> Like I said, you most likely have heard that before. Okay, let's play with me now. Play along together. Horns up. Here we go. Ready? Remember, cut time. Here we go. One, two, one. <laughs> And that's 127, the Marines hymn. All right. All right, we'll take a brief break, and we'll be right back with the second exercise. So stay tuned. Okay, the second exercise is called DS March, and it introduces a concept which I'm not going to guess here. You may or may not know this. I don't think this has come up uh, in the year. Uh, actually, no... Uh, I think it did. I think this was from Baywood Overture, now that I recall. So it's possible you already know this. It's called DS Alfine. Uh, DS stands for Del Segno, which means go back to the sign. So you go all the way to the end of the piece, play all four lines, end of the piece, you go back to the sign. The sign is right here. Second line next to the last measure. And then you start from here and all the way and stop at the fine. 
Now, I think, if you go back and look at Baywood Overture, I think this had the same thing. You went all the way to the end in that slow section, and then you DS back to measure 6, which on that piece, that's where this sign was, was at measure 6. And the fine was at that double bar right before you went into the slow section towards the end. Now, this is in 2-4 time, concert E-flat. Um, some accents here and there. Um, we go up to the concert E-flat here, so trumpets and trombones and baritones you might, and maybe tuba, you might find that a little tough, because for trumpets that's the F, for trombones, baritones, and tubas that's the high E-flat. Uh, so it's not quite as bad as last week with the two exercises that went up to the concert F, but this exercise is a little bit hard. You've got a lot of dotted eighth sixteenth here. Okay? All right, it goes about do, date, do, 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 to do, date, do. Do, 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 date, do, 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 to do, date, do. Down here at the double bar, the rhythm goes do, date, to do, do, date, to do, do, date, do, date, do, 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 date, do, do, date, do, do, date, do, date, do. Do then back we go to the sign do do date do 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 to do date do and then we finish do to do date do date do do to do date do okay fingers silently let's go instruments up there we go DS march we're gonna go the whole way this one will take a little time here we go one two listen and Once again, don't forget when you get to the end, back to the sign, and then repeat the rest of the second line and the third line until you get to the fianna and then stop. Okay, here we go. Instruments up. Play along with me. Ready? One, two, ready, and go. I failed to mention also, dynamically, beware, the first three measures of forte, then it goes to mezzo forte, here it goes to forte, and then on the repeat, mezzo forte, you'll be going back to here. So just be aware of the dynamics too. All right, that's DS March. In a minute, we'll come back with the final exercise at the bottom of the page. So stay tuned. Okay, the last exercise is 129 Can Can. Again, this is a familiar melody by Jacques Offenbach, which most of you, if I play this for you, you'll have heard of it. Okay, I'm sure you've heard it in cartoons, TV commercials, TV shows, or maybe you've heard the actual orchestral version of this. Now, it teaches a concept which is has not been dealt with yet this year, and it's called Accelerando, which means gradually faster. It is the opposite of retard or ralentant or anything retard related this means get faster accelerando now you'll see it here at the bottom of the second line it says watch your director well in this case you can't watch me because I'm gonna be sitting next to the camera here playing and I'm gonna try to accelerando if you can keep up with me great but you can regulate it on your own at home when you turn off this video and practice it on your own now the familiar melody goes do 
do day do day do 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 day do day do 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 day do day do day do day do day do then you have to speed up you'll have to do this on your own but me i would go do do day do day do 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 day do day do 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 day do day do day do day do do so that's what i'll do if you can keep up with me great but what i'm more interested in is you doing it by yourself and you regulate the speed at which you get faster. Okay, so let's finger silently, and I will speed up on the second line. Here we go, ready? Can can, number 129, finger silently. One, two, listen, and. So again, if you can keep right up with me, uh, great, that's about what I'll do. I'll try to replicate that again when you play along with, but of course you'll be better at it probably by yourself uh, when you practice it after you've heard me do it here. All right, here we go. Together, ready? Two, four, time, allegretto. One, two, ready, and go. <laughs> And that's the can-can, all right? Fun exercise to play. It's more fun if we could do it together. Of course, you have to teach the percussionists uh, to keep together because their part is really tough to play together even without the accelerando. With the accelerando, it makes it real hard, but it's always challenging and it's always fun and students always love it. But we'll have to do it by ourselves this week. All right, I'll be right back in just a bit with a wrap-up and conclusion to this lesson. Okay, in conclusion, uh, page 26, three songs, Marines Hymn, DS March, Can Can. Once again, the Marines Hymn, very familiar, cut time, make sure you play it in cut time, not 4 4. DS March, those rhythms, dotted 8 16th. Um, do the best you can, don't forget when you get to the end, go back to the sign and stop at the fine. Can Can, you just regulate the accelerando at home. Remember, accelerando is the opposite of retard. Get faster instead of slowing down. Okay? All right. Um, keep practicing. Um, in a few weeks, I will upload some other music, but keep practicing your graduation music. Again, on the off chance that we do need to play it, Pop and Circumstance and La Rejouissance, you'll find the parts on Google Classroom if you lost yours or if you were absent and didn't get your part. Uh, you can just go there, print it up, down or download it, print it up, and practice it at home. Uh, but towards the end of the school year, if we're still out beyond April, we hope not, but if we are, I have some more music here I can upload the parts to you just to keep you busy for the rest of the year. All right, good luck with page 26, and we'll see you next week for page 27. So until then, this is Mr. Pickett saying so long, please practice, and have a good week, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.